Fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. Sorry it's been a couple days. I've been extremely busy this past week. Uh, I haven't posted any videos, but I'm really, really excited to be with you today to share a monumental event, to share a completion of a goal that I originally set out to uh, accomplish. So it's with a lot of excitement that uh, I come to you today and, and share the video. Um, before we get to that though, if you are new here, the main core is a community for men digging to the core of who they really are to find out what they really want and who it is that they really want to become. If you want to become a better man this year and in the future, please consider subscribing and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We would love to have you as a part of the community. So. What am I excited about today? What is the big goal? What's the big news? What's the big deal? Well, if you've been following the videos, today marks 90 days, three months, 90 days of NoFap and semen retention for me. And I can't tell you how good it feels to finally arrive at this day. When I originally set out to do this at the end of November, 90 days was my target goal. And I've been sharing and documenting how that has been going. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed those videos, watched them, have learned from them, and have started this journey on your own. A lot of you have been posting comments and sharing feedback, and I love that. Thank you very much. Please continue to, to do that. It has been very valuable to hear from you and I know for the other listeners as well, I can see you guys commenting back and forth. So continue to uh, stay engaged with the videos and, and, and share your journey with us. I do appreciate that. So, you know, we hear a lot about setting goals and I obviously, you know, or I personally have never really been great about setting goals uh, or not as good as I should be, I, I guess I should say. And What's really cool is that, you know, I've arrived at today feeling a real sense of accomplishment, a real feat that, uh, that I've overcome and, and accomplished. To be totally honest with you, I don't even really think about uh, watching graphic stuff anymore. It doesn't even phase me, it doesn't bother me. Um, I do still have temptations, but you know, hey, like it's just how we're wired. So the, the things that I've learned and, and the things that I'm, you know, physically feeling the things that I'm mentally feeling, the things that are happening in my life are such a testament and such a, a positive um, correlation to the changes that really all started back in November. And again, I have been sharing a lot of those benefits and a lot of the things that have been helping out. But, you know, as I, as I woke up today, I really had a sense of real gratitude, not only for arriving here, but that I also had the opportunity to arrive here and and do so all along the way while I was hopefully helping you guys. I was really grateful for the fact that, you know, we've all kind of came together on, um, you know, this this area of, of struggle and this area of, of challenge and uh, around our lives. And, you know, we're all engaging and communicating back and forth about what we've been, you know, going through. And I know for a lot of guys, it's a huge challenge. It was for me, but you know, I was, I woke up really, really grateful this morning that if for nothing else, I was able to at least help people. And, you know, hopefully I've inspired you to, uh, you know, to take this journey for yourself and, uh, that you're seeing and reaping the benefits as, as I really have. You know, to be, to be frank, I, the things that I physically felt, you know, I just, I'm taking way better care of my body. Uh, physically, I'm in much better shape. Um, I'm taking, you know, some supplements that I've never even thought about taking before that I'm really starting to hear and, or I mean, see the benefits of. And, you know, I've really focused a lot on my physical health, what I've been eating, and because of that, and because I've been, you know, really true to myself and really, you know, transparent and 
very open with the things that I was struggling with and that I continue to struggle with, I feel a lot lighter and I feel like my conscience is cleared. And by virtue of that, my, you know, my mental state and how I feel internally about myself is, uh, is drastically better. So, you know, it's, it's really cool to be honest, to, to be able to share with you guys that this has allowed me to come into a place of, of being stronger internally and having that inner, inner confidence, having that inner presence and that inner awareness of, of who, of who I am and the things that, you know, I'm, I'm working through. And it's really been helpful for me as well to, to hear from you guys and hear your comments. You know, sometimes as guys, we just need to understand that we're not the only ones going through these things. You know, community is a big part of this channel and community is a big part of why I started this channel, what I believe that guys need. And when they understand that they're not the only ones going through things, it really helps them to understand or to take a step back or to kind of get outside of their own heads and realize, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm not the only one that struggles or deals with this. And so you guys were all very instrumental and all very helpful in, in helping me get to this point. So, you know, when, when I take a look around me now and when I see the things that are going on outside of, uh, outside of me, the things that are happening externally, you know, physically, I'm in much better shape. And, you know, I, you know, my body and everything has has changed in a number of ways. But, you know, even since I started doing this at work and in my social life and my relationships, they're, they're just so much better, drastically better. And to give you an example, so at work, I've been at my job now for about 10 months and it's in sales and it's a, it's a grind and I've learned a lot. I've been challenged a lot. And in the first, I would say in the first seven months, I really struggled and I was cutting my teeth trying to figure out how to be successful and, and how to, you know, bring in sales and how to prospect. And, you know, it was, it was a real fucking struggle for me to be totally honest with you. And I think a lot of it had to do with what I was doing and the things that I was doing personally, you know, like I just wasn't taking care of my shit. And as men, we need to. And I'm coming to you now towards the end of February to report that this has been the highest grossing revenue month for me and it continues to build. So in the first couple months, you know, I, I wasn't getting any sales just in the last in the last month, in the last, I would say 30 to 35 days, uh, I brought in like 10 X what I brought in for the first, then uh, like compared to the first seven. So like I'm, I'm hit, I'm killing goal and I'm learning a lot, but you know, I'm selling a lot and that's building my confidence. And it's really good to see those kinds of rewards because, you know, there's been a lot of effort both at work and both here at home to try and, you know, be successful and to try to be better. That's what we're all here to do. But, you know, it's awesome to be able to come to report that like at the end of the 90 days, I'm also experiencing some really good success in my day, like in my day to day work in sales. So that's awesome. Like I'm super grateful for that and it's great. It continues to, to get better. Uh, my relationships with, you know, people at work and, and just people around me is, is way better because I'm more connected to myself and because I'm more uh, aware and, and just in tune both subconsciously and, and, and I think even um, actually, I'm just, I'm more connected. So because I'm more connected to myself, I have a much better connection to other people and a much deeper awareness about, you know, the social dynamics and the interactions happening around me. Um, it's been great. You know, I, I, I think I've missed out on a few years of, of really connecting with people and building good relationships. So it's awesome to, to be here now and to, and to really share a lot of, you know, 
successes and a lot of life experiences and sharing my journey with some of my friends here with work um, or you know just in in general the people that I know from the gym or uh, past friends or whatever the case may be I can tell that there's a, a much uh, better relationship there's a there's a there's a deeper understanding and um, it's it's really good you know it's more authentic it feels a lot uh, more connected and a lot more meaningful than it did before. And I know that that is directly related to, you know, how I've been taking better care of myself. So, um, the other thing too is, you know, my confidence level continues to be through the roof. Um, I'm reading a lot and I'm trying to really understand, you know, the dynamics between masculine and feminine and, and really becoming a, a really good man and finding the ways, the weaknesses in my, uh, in my tool belt or the things that I need to work on and you know, trying to iron those kinks out. I'm really, I'm really f like focused on that and that's a, that's a huge thing that, that, is, uh, that is big for me. You know, I'm, I'm probably a little bit obsessed with it to be honest, but uh, my confidence level is through the roof. I have a lot more awareness, a lot more certainty. I'm, I'm more congruent. I don't vacillate between making decisions or um, going back and forth on, you know, should I do this, should I do that? There's a, there's a level of, of real strong and centered certainty that, that I feel and, and it doesn't feel unnatural. It feels like it was always there. I've just now tapped into it. So that has, I think, really allowed me to be more successful in sales and connect with people. But it's also, you know, I'm, I'm noticing that there is a lot better response from the women in my life. And that's really nice. You know, I'm, I'm here to, to be successful and I'm here to, to help and uh, to grow and to provide and to do that in a way that makes me, you know, the highest value and, and the best man that I can possibly become, you know, placing the highest value on, on me. At the end of the day, it really starts with me. Um, the king eats first, you know, and I used to think that that was kind of a selfish mentality or that was kind of a uh, an egotistical way of looking at things. But what I now understand is that once I've taken care of me, once I have all my shit in order, once I have, you know, taken care of the things that I needed to at work or finances or here at the house, posting videos, whatever, as long as I've owned my shit, everything else really falls in line in, in my life. That's been my experience. So, you know, the king eats first. It doesn't mean that that I'm an asshole to people. It just means that when I prioritize my physical health, my emotional health, when I prioritize the things that I need to do, the things that I know that I need to accomplish, the things that I know that are important to my future, that are important to my family in the future, that are important to my success, when I prioritize those things, that everything else takes care of itself. And it's really nice to be able to you know, come here and, and share this with you because it's been really tough to like get through a lot of these demons and, you know, to share this shit publicly and, and to just be transparent with it. It's, it's, it's not as scary as it was, but you know, it is putting yourself really out there. And I now understand that to be a lot more of a strength quality than I, I used to because, you know, because of the shame and everything that I've, I've felt before because of what I wasn't dealing with, you know, I, I held walls up and I wasn't connected and uh, just didn't, it, it's, it's conceivable now to understand why things were the way that they were. And by working through a lot of the, the challenges and by being transparent and being open and honest, you know, there's a, there's a level of, of security that I now have that I'm now anchored in, in myself. And you know, I want for you guys to be able to experiencing to experience that. You know, there's been some comments that have came through like, oh, you know, I I went a couple of days, or you know, I failed, or I just can't stop watching porn, or or you know, I've given to the temptations, and 
it's okay. Like, it doesn't mean that you've failed. It just means that you've, you found where you're most susceptible to giving in. So, you know, all, all you can do is self-correct. But by knowing that and, and by working through that, starting over and just being aware of it and being open and honest with it, you know, it may suck in the moment, but, you know, you're going to find that just by dealing with it and by, you know, working through it, that it's, it's, it's not as bad, especially in the long run. It hasn't been easy to come here and share all this shit out of nowhere uh, publicly to you guys. But, you know, now three months in, it's been the best thing that, that I've ever done. And I want that for you guys. You know, if, if there's things that you're struggling with, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, my email is posted up here and uh, it's themancore at gmail.com. So if you need help, if you're struggling, if you just need to talk to somebody, again, sometimes it just helps to understand that you're not the only one. Um, but you know, stick, stick to it, try and stick to your guns and, you know, know that there, there is a, a really bright light at the, at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm sure some of you are wondering, you know, okay, it's 90 days. What are you going to do later today? It's not what you think. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue to move on. 90 days is where I originally set out to, and it was the, it's now a kind of a lily pad or a, a, like a small goal. And, uh, you know, I'm on to bigger and brighter things, on to higher mountains. There will always be higher mountains. We are, we are never going to get or arrive to that place of being 100% perfect, 100% flawless, 100% successful. We just need to understand that it's a process and that we evolve over time. And if if I can come to you and, and share this after three months and leave this for anybody out there who's struggling so that they may find their own success, find themselves, get more connected to people around them and, you know, find the areas of their life that, that could be, that could, that could be improved not only for themselves, but for their future. That's as good as I can do. And that's what I've set out to do. I'm definitely not done. This is still the beginning. So, but it is really good to be able to share 90 days, fellas. And thank you so much for continuing to join me on this journey. I got to run, fellas, but it has been awesome to join you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, share the video, and please do share the channel with anybody that you think would either benefit or be good contributors here at the Mancor. I have to run, fellas, but uh, it's been great. Thank you very much. Cheers.